Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect the Xbox One controller to any iPad. So first of all, you need to be running iPadOS 13 or newer. To check this, go to Settings, General and About. And under Software Version, you can see I'm on currently 15.0. Doesn't matter what firmware you're on, just make sure you're on 13.0 or newer. If for some reason you want to connect an Xbox Series X controller and you're watching my tutorial on how to connect the Xbox One, you will need to be running Software Version 14.6 or newer if you want to connect the Xbox Series X controller. So if you're on those older firmwares, just opting. So what you want to do on your device, just go to the Bluetooth settings. And once you're here, lay down your iPad. Next, I want you to get your Xbox One controller, turn on the controller. It may turn on your Xbox as well, that's perfectly fine. Next, I want you to long press on the share icon at the top, and you can see now the Xbox light is flickering. So what you want to do is check your iPad, and you should see Xbox wireless controller show up under the other devices section. If you don't see this after uh, 10 seconds, just go to Wi-Fi, then go back into Bluetooth, and under other devices, it should refresh and you should see the Xbox wireless controller. So we'll just tap on this one and you can see, boom, the Xbox wireless controller has successfully paired and you can see the blinking has gone away. Sometimes this will glitch out and it will give you an error message. Just try again and eventually your Xbox One controller should successfully pair with your iPad. A couple of things to note is not all games are supported with the Xbox One controller. So for example, you cannot use a Xbox One controller on PUBG. However, you can use it on a game such as Minecraft. So if I just open up Minecraft, this is always the perfect example. So I'm just gonna open up right here. You can see the controller in the background. And if I just use the arrow keys, uh, not the arrow keys, the analog stick, you can see I can move up and down. If I press the A button, you can see I can select a menu, B to go back. And this isn't CGI, this is actually, you know, properly running. Just try it out for yourself. And um, yeah, that's really it. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.